Hey guys, welcome to Comic-Con at Home with Pixel Dan. I, of course, am Pixel Dan, and I wanted to do something that I usually do with the shows, which is meet up with several individuals within the toy industry and kind of chat to them about what's going on. And it just wouldn't be Comic-Con if I didn't talk to this individual right here, somebody I've been meeting up with for years. So joining me today is Zach Oat from Diamond Select Toys. How's it going, Zach? It's going pretty good. Pretty good. Good to be here. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. Obviously, uh, interesting circumstances this year. There's no actual Comic-Con going on, which is uh, weird and sad. And I don't know, I have a whole bunch of mixed emotions about that. <laughs> but I'm glad we have the ability to do stuff like this, uh, to just kind of meet over the internet and, and chat. And I'm sure everybody appreciates you taking time to meet with me. So thank you very much for that. Oh, you're welcome. So why don't we go ahead and start with that whole thing? Like it's been a weird year and obviously with no Comic-Con, a lot of toy companies are kind of trying different things this year, doing their own sort of Comic-Cons or online reveals and stuff like that. So how's that been going for Diamond Select Toys? Uh, is that, do you miss Comic-Con? Do you think this is something that we definitely need to have? Or uh, is this something that you're just kind of figuring out as you go? Um, definitely figuring it out as we go. Um, we, we missed, uh, Emerald city comic con back in, um, in March, but, oh, yeah. uh, but that was different because at one point it was delayed and now it looks like it's not happening this year at all. So, um, we'll, we'll be in Seattle in, uh, 2021 for that, uh, fingers crossed. Um, but, uh, um, to, to not do San Diego is, um, it makes things very different. Certainly. Um, where you've had to offer our, our exclusives uh, ex online. Um, the ones we share with Diamond Comics have been offered to other retailers, uh, so they've been offering them as well. Uh, I think they just started shipping uh, this week, so I think the first one is the um, the Muppet set that's going to be going to retailers uh, tomorrow. Um, and uh, well, the um, and uh, yeah, we're they've got a new uh, digital uh, show floor uh, which we're exhibiting things at. Um, but we're also doing regular, we did regular reviews on our social media, um, including some new items that hadn't been seen before, which is great. Um, we tried to have a debut every day and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it seems to be working out pretty well. Uh, even though it's, um, it's very different, very different than usual. Very different for sure. Uh, it's, it's really nice. Like we've talked about with the technology and obviously every company has got their own social media. So at least you can still get the information out there, but I certainly miss having sort of like a centralized hub for like everything, uh, you know, going on there. It does kind of feel like we're all running around all over the place, uh, just to kind of get all the different information. Um, but yes, it's, it's still very cool. At least we've got the option to put this stuff offering or had offered your exclusives online. Uh, which is very cool. I, I know that I jumped on that uh, Tron VHS exclusive right away just because I thought that was so very cool looking. Yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Um, I know that uh, our team put a lot of work into packaging this year. Um, obviously, they put a lot of work into it before they knew that it wasn't going to be you know, on the floor where people would you know, be able to look at the packaging, hold the packaging and say, well, this is really cool and I really want to get it. Um, but uh, you know, we've tried to show the packaging online you know to say you know this is how cool it is and this is what you're going to get and uh you know the vhs set was definitely very cool yeah super fun and obviously i uh, the disney stuff that you guys did within the last year have all been a lot of fun um so i guess i can just go ahead and start right there with that it just kind of leads me into thinking about all the disney stuff you guys did the black hole figures which seemed like they were very popular and sold well uh, yeah, they sold incredibly well, uh, and so we're going to go back and do a new run of figures um, that Series 1. Um, we're going to make more uh, for the to meet the demand uh, that's still out there, um, and uh, we'll be offering those. Uh, they're for pre-order now, uh, but you'll be able to, they'll be coming out uh, this fall, most likely. Fantastic. Do you guys think you'll be doing anything further outside of what you've already done with those, or anything else with the Disney license? Uh I'm not sure about Black Hole, um, whether we're going to um, continue with the Series 2, although I know there's a lot of uh, different things we can do and a lot of things people would like to see. Um, but uh, given how well Series 1 has done, uh, I'm sure that they're at least thinking about it. Um, Tron as well. Tron's been doing very well for us. Uh, we had his first series also at Walgreens. Uh, they had an exclusive. Um, 
And uh, we are going to continue our Disney uh, theme with um, we're going to be bringing back our Jack Sparrow action figure from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, oh, we, nice. tried to do one, uh, we tried to do one a couple of years ago and it didn't quite work out. But, um, uh, you know, we've modified the head sculpt a little bit and uh, it's going to be uh, up for pre-order now. So uh, you can pre-order it for probably early 2021 delivery. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'm making sure we got pictures of some of this stuff too, which is awesome. So thank you, Zach, for supplying those so we can, we can take a look at them there. But the, the all new Jack Sparrow with the new head sculpt, he looks awesome, man. He looks really good. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, and of course, for Disney, we're still doing Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, there will be uh, new figures coming out in the uh, late summer before Halloween and then um, uh, late fall uh, before Christmas. So that's series nine and 10. Uh, and there'll also be some figures available at Walgreens as well. Awesome. And amazing. Series 9 and 10. I mean, the always popular Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, but it's so fun. And I just love the. I mean, you guys have gone so deep with the characters there, but they all make for such great action figures. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can do more articulation in some than you can in others, but... Um, right. <laughs> uh, the, the team really, you know, uh, has captured uh, the looks of all these characters. And we've done a lot of characters that have never been done before. You know, there are obviously been other nightmare lines, but um, we're getting, to, we're getting to pretty deep cuts and everybody uh, can always come up with one more that we haven't uh, done or, or several more that we haven't done. Uh, but at that point we're talking about characters who not only didn't have any lines, but also were barely seen in certain shots. And uh, um, I'd love to see everybody because even right. though they were seen just a little bit, they're still great designs. Um, but uh, uh, we'll see. Say it's, we kind of got like that. that kind of got like that Star Wars thing going on, right? Where oh, yeah. like you you pick out all the different characters in the background and we want action figures of it. I totally get it. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Awesome. So Nightmare is great. The Disney stuff's doing good. Uh, love to see more of the Tron stuff too. Obviously, I love the Tron stuff. You guys think you would do um, like Tron Legacy or anything like that? Is that something you've looked into or just kind of sticking with the classic? Uh, I'm I'm fairly certain it's not part of our license. Um, oh, okay. I, although I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure if the new movie is part of our license, but um, uh, I know that people would like to see more classic, like Ram and. Uh, oh, for sure. Um, uh, Yori is it Yor Yori? I believe. Um, yeah. And uh, some of the guards uh, who are great in their football padding, um, but uh, I'm not sure how how deep we're gonna go. Um, uh, we'll have to see. I think series one did pretty well, uh, but uh, we'll have to see if that's something that we would uh, continue with. I would personally love Tron Legacy anything. Uh, I loved the figures that they put out for the movie uh, originally, the ones with wow. the light up faces that said the lines from the movie. I thought those were great. Um, but uh, I'd love to see, you know, more um, more realistic, more articulated versions. Um, and I'm just anything that'll get me Daft Punk action figures is basically I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you, you, uh, so you kind of already answered what I'm about to ask you, but I'm going to ask anyway, cause I know it depends on sales and everything, but I know at one point there was going to be a recognizer or like a build a recognizer. Is that a possibility that we might see that still at some point? Uh, I'm honestly not sure of the state of the recognizer. I think it was, um, I think it was something we thought we could do and then it turned out it was just, not going to be feasible. Um, sure. But uh, we tried to let everybody know beforehand, but there were a lot of people who, who didn't know it beforehand. So we apologize to them, but um, uh, we tried to get that information out there. Um, and uh, uh, I, I certainly would love to see it happen. Um, but uh, whether that would happen with a series two, um, we don't often release build, you know, build a pieces on their own, um, right. but that would certainly be a cool release if we could do something like that. Um, not saying, uh, not saying never, but uh, we never say never at DST. But um, uh, we'll have to see. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wait and see situation. Cool. Yeah. Totally understood. Loved. Would love to see it. If that helps, yeah, I, I would me love too. to see. <laughs> it. Me too. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Uh, well, what? Uh, where do you want to move from here? You've sent me a couple cool pictures of some new things to talk about. So I'll let you kind of lead it, lead into the next thing here. Um, well, we can keep talking about action figures. Um, uh, a new license for us is the Crow. Uh, we're going to be doing a Crow action figure, at least one Crow action figure. Um, uh, I think we'll see some variants down the road, but uh, the first one for especially stores is going to be uh, him in the trench coat. Um, and uh, so uh, you should have a picture of that. And um, we're also going to be revisiting John Wick. 
um, with a more deluxe figure um, with the crate, uh, which comes with all of his gear inside. Um, oh, cool. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to make the figure uh, a little different too. Um, I think we're going to do like a flapping tie uh, and some other things to it. So it won't be exactly the same as previous releases, um, just so people don't feel like they have to double dip. Um, but uh, And of course, it'll have different weapons and, and, and things like that. But um, yeah, I'm a big John Wick fan, so I'm just happy to, that we're finally able to get that crate out because we've been we've been looking at doing that crate for a little while, and um, we're going to finally do it with this deluxe set. That's awesome. That's awesome, and it looks fantastic. Very cool. Um, Marvel Select is a big one that people have questions about at New York Toy Fair because we didn't really show anything new. Um, we've been re-offering some of the um, former Disney exclusives, um, uh, including uh, Hulkbuster. Um, I think we're uh, re-offering um, Mighty Thor uh, and a few, uh, and we're going to bring back Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, some oh, figures that were really, really well received, but haven't been available to Disney Store for a while. So we're going to make them available to uh, comic shops, which means you know international customers, so people will be able to get them a little bit easier uh, if they weren't able to before. Um, and uh, the next figure we're going to do that's new is going to be the Hulk. Uh, now. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we've already got plenty of Hulks, but the Hulk always sells well for us. And um, we wanted to update our original Hulk, the um, we, we call him the Incredible Hulk. Um, we wanted to update that one because we've been offering that for a long time. It's 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 been a bestseller for us for a long time. So we um, we went back in and we made a really classic Hulk, which I think uh, people will like a lot. Um, I think we're still doing a couple interchangeable hands and an interchangeable head. Uh, I'll hold off on showing that for a little while, but um, it's a, it's a really cool looking figure. Um, good articulation, a uh, great classic Hulk sculpt, which a lot of people have been asking for. Um, cause you know, the incredible Hulk was very extreme and, um, we've done, you know, like one that was based on Silvestri style. Uh, we did one that was based on sort of a Kirby look. Um, but, uh, this is, this is that. 70s and 80s Hulk that I think a lot of people have been asking for. Yeah, and I'm sure he'll be big and chunky, just like all the other Hulk figures that you guys have done. Big, heavy figure. <laughs> yeah, no the the Marvel Legends collectors uh, like to dip in when it's when it uh, when it makes sense for their collection. So uh, we of course to be a, yeah. a bit of interest for that. Although you know there've been uh, plenty of Marvel Legends Hulks as well, but um, you know ours is gonna be nice and big, and uh, and I think it's that classic again that classic style that I think people want for their collections. And you can never have too many Hulks. I mean, come on. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen people who collect just Hulks. They they show me their collection. They're like, here's what I got. And it's all of our Marvel Select Hulks, is every single one of them. Uh, yeah. So maybe it's just that one guy, but I know that they're out there. <laughs> of course, of course. Well, there's always the people that have like the one thing that's like their favorite. So they collect oh, yeah. every version of Yeah, of course. I totally get that. That's awesome. I think we both know somebody who collects only orange shirt Aquaman and uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, we sure do. <laughs> you know, some people are just Batman people, even if it's just all rogues gallery, but, uh, but Batman right. for sure. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's Hulk is uh, I know at least one, uh, one personally, one Hulk collector who, who just does the Hulk. That's awesome. That's my son. My son's a huge Hulk fan. He's got oh, yeah. so many Hulk figures, so he'll be excited <laughs> about this. <laughs> It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, I will say too, one of the questions I see a lot um, that a lot of people kind of send my way, and I even got some uh, today from some of my viewers, uh, X-Men. People love the X-Men, and uh, or I think people want to see more comic style X-Men in the select line. Is that something you guys are interested in still doing or anything down the pipeline you can tell us? Um, I'm not sure if we have anything currently in the pipeline. Um for 2021, although I don't think we've finished 2021 yet, um, at least planning it. Um, but uh, we just did a, a pretty good run of X-Men figures. Obviously, we've made sure. a lot of X-Men figures. Yeah. So um, as far as teams, um, you know, we've done a, a good amount of Avenger, Avenger, comic Avengers, but X-Men is one that we've been working on for a while. So um, there's always a lot of interest to continue that. Yeah. Uh, as well as revisit some of the ones we've already done. But um after doing uh, Psylocke and Rogue and Beast, I think we're going to take a little break for a while. Um, those all came out, I think, last year. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to hold off on them for a any more X-Men for a little while. But we've got um, some pretty cool figures coming up, um, including some Avengers and some Spider-Man characters. And um, I think people will be happy with what we are putting out. If it's not an updated version of a character they really want, like the Hulk, um, then it's... Um, then it's a character we haven't done before. Um, 
obviously it's it's one of those two things <laughs> um, sure sure uh, but there i think either way it's going to be something that um that select fans are going to be interested in maybe not legends fans but uh, definitely select fans Excellent. All right. Sounds great. Um, let's see. What else are we working on? Um, Marvel <sighs> Mini is continuing. Um, I, you know, I meant to send over some pictures. I'll, I'll do that after the uh, interview. But the, um, the, we're going to continue um, our series. Uh, we, are, we just solicited Series 80, um, which is um, based on uh, uh, the, the espionage corner of the Marvel Universe, um, different S.H.I.E.L.D. agents and HYDRA agents. Um, 81 is going to be Dark Phoenix Saga. And we're gonna—we just are revealing a series 82, which is uh, Fantastic Four. Um, so we're going back to the Fantastic Four after a long time away from them. But, oh, um, cool! We're, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. And it's—I mean, the Mini Mates still going strong, and and I love that there's still like a fan base for those. It's like they're such a toy staple at this point. <laughs> yeah, no, they—they've um, definitely had a long run. Um, uh, in addition to those 82 series, there have been plen- tons of box sets. Plenty Man. of series of Boys R Us. Um, we're currently doing animated style mini mates at Walgreens, and um, uh, we're going to be doing some more movie fit mini mates at Walgreens as well, movie and TV. Uh, so um, some of those Disney Plus shows that you'll see getting adapted into mini mates. And you said eighty two series eighty two series eighty two. Uh, you know, Amazing <laughs> figures per series, and it's um, it's a lot of mini mates. I mean, it's definitely it is. Uh, it's definitely well over a thousand. We've been going since two thousand and three for the Marvel figures. Um, Mini Mates been around since two thousand two, but two thousand three right. was when the Marvel line launched. So, uh, yeah, seventeen years. Are there are there any other toy lines out there that can say they got to series eighty <laughs> two? That's amazing. You know, it's tough with the uh, you know who has consecutive numbering and uh, right. That's true. I guess it's been going. I mean, there are a lot of Marvel legends out there, um, but. Uh, um, you know, they had a break in the middle where they switched companies and, um, you know, there was one a couple of years where they weren't having as much output as other years. Um, obviously, they're doing gangbusters now, which is great. But, sure. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, in terms of characters, I think we I think we still have them beat. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to fingers crossed. I think we still have <laughs> more individual characters than legends. They've been doing some characters that we haven't done yet and making us look bad. But uh, <laughs> we're uh we're, we're trying to keep up. We're trying to keep up. We try to get, you know, at least a, a couple new uh, characters in every wave. Uh, so uh, we're, we're still rolling along, rolling along. 82 Excellent. series. Excellent. That is amazing. That is so cool. Awesome. All right. Well, is that, uh, is that it for Marvel? Did you want to move on to the next? Uh... Uh, well, we're going to continue with Marvel Gallery. Oh, uh, Marvel Gallery. Yes. Yes. The Nine Inch Scale PVC dioramas. Um, trying to think. We showed a whole bunch at the New York Toy Fair. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anybody coming up that uh, we haven't talked about. Um, and there's a bunch of them, but uh, nobody specific uh, jumps out at me um, that we haven't already showed. We're, we just solicited the new Spider-Gwen, uh, which is doing a handstand, that version. Um, so that'll that's up for pre-order now. But uh, um, we definitely have a bunch, bunch more in the works uh, for Marvel uh, Gallery. Um, and, of course, the, the statues continue. Premier Collection... Uh, milestones, the the bigger bigger statues. Um, so, so yeah, definitely Marvel is still our. I would say Marvel is still our flagship in terms of number of number of categories sure. and, number, and number of releases. So, um, yeah, we're we're still in the Marvel business, definitely. Excellent. Um, let's see. Uh, we could talk about Avatar. Um, we've got um, series two is going to be coming out uh, later on this year. Uh, I believe they're going to hit Walgreens first. So there'll be basic versions of Walgreens and more deluxe versions a little later on. Um, series three, uh, I'm not sure when exactly we're going to solicit that, but that is uh, Toph. And uh, I think I'm saying uh, her name right, Toph and uh, Lord Ozai. Um, so the two of them, and then um, we've got a series four in the wings as well. Um, and uh, we're also doing another gallery diorama. There's been a really great response to our... Um, Ang gallery diorama and we're gonna next we're gonna do a katara um who is a big request so um it's a really cool looking piece i think i sent you the sculpt pick i'll see if i have any painted picks but um it's uh it's a really beautiful piece uh i thought the ang was great but they really outdid themselves with the uh, katara 
Yeah, that's that's amazing. And, you know, it's another uh, property that a lot of people were interested in wondering if you guys were going to continue. So it's really great to hear that you're planning ahead more series of action figures. Uh, it seems like a real good time for it, too. I mean, you know, Avatar has like been trending in the top 10 on Netflix recently. It's kind of got this yeah. like resurgence and like a, I think a new audience is finding it right now. So it's uh, really good to hear that the the uh, figures and everything you guys are doing are also doing well. No, absolutely. It's a great time. Great time to be doing Avatar stuff. And uh, there hasn't really been a lot of really good Avatar stuff. Um, I think there's been a pretty good response to uh, the first uh, few figures we did um, in terms of, you know, articulation and sculpt. Um, you know, everybody's there's a lot of Avatar fans out there and, you know, they are very the series is very close to their hearts. So they, you know, they all have opinions about how a figure should look. But I think overall, uh, the response has been pretty good. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it will continue going forward. Very cool. Very cool. Um, another one, I want another action figure line I wanted to bring up, or at least worth a mention. I don't know if you've got anything new to talk about, but it was uh, one of the big show stealers, I feel like, at Toy Fair uh, was the big Lord of the Rings announcement. And I know we saw a bunch of those back at Toy Fair, but I don't know if you had any updates or anything else you can share for that. Uh, we did show the first six. Um, yeah. uh, we do have a series four um, planned. Uh, I'm not going to uh, reveal who's in that yet because it might change. Sure. Um, but uh, we did switch around a little bit series two and three. I think originally Aragorn was going to be in series two with the Nazgul. Um, but I believe we've moved up Frodo uh, to series two. And then series three will be Aragorn. And uh, as far as I know, still the uh, Mariah Orc. So, um, uh, so yeah, Frodo will be in series two after Legolas and Gimli. Excellent. Excellent. Definitely looking forward to those. I think those look great. Yeah, me too. I was a big fan of the of the old figures back in the day. Um, you know, for what the at, for the time they were they were really great. Oh, of uh, really course, great. it was. Those were kind of a big deal. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember chasing those down and, and buying those, and and I definitely yeah. feel like we've we've kind of had a a drought of Lord of the Rings toys or merch in general, and like it's one of those things. I feel like it's it's come back around, you know, and. Once I walked in the booth of Toy Fair and I saw those, all of a sudden it was like, oh my goodness, Lord of the Rings toys, of course. <laughs> and I yeah. think a lot of people felt that way after seeing them. No, it, um, it's they were, you know, omnipresent for a while. And that was another Star Wars situation where they were making everybody, you know, yeah. everybody even appeared briefly in the in the movies. Um, but no, there hasn't really been anything uh, in that universe since, um, since uh, what was it, Bridge Direct did the Hobbit figures back That's in the day. That's right, yeah, um, yeah. But uh yeah, you know, nobody's done them at seven inch scale, um, which is, you know, um, our scale. We really like to we, we, we stick to select scale for pretty much everything we do, including Muppets. And um, uh, I think we're going to stick to that for our Sonic uh, Sonic select figures as well. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. But um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited about Lord of the Rings as well. Uh, definitely. Uh, I'm a fan of the movies and um, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, the the how the, the detail that we leave, that exists in the prototypes translates to the production. Because there's a lot of detail there. Yeah, of course. Of course. Well, I'm excited to see them too. And uh, you just totally reminded me of the uh, Sonic figures. <laughs> I think we, uh, you, we talked about those back at Toy Fair, but I don't think we could show them back at Toy Fair, right? We only had uh, boards, um, just pictures of what they would look like, um, yeah. you know, 3D designs. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the three you would think in the first series, Sonic and Tails and Knuckles. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they looked like they had some cool, um, I don't know too many details. They had some uh, cool ideas for packaging, uh, you know, video game inspired packaging. Uh, we'll see how that all comes out. Um, uh, I think after what we did for San Diego, we're, we're willing to try out some cool new stuff with packaging going forward. Cool. Um, and, uh. Yeah, um, you know, we, we've had to uh, we've had to drop a couple of Sonic items that weren't really performing very well. But as far as I know, the action figures are still going forward um, as planned. Awesome. And we're also gonna, we're also going to be doing action figures based on Invader Zim. Uh, we've got a new gallery diorama that's being offered um, in uh, this new preview, so you'll be able to pre-order that uh, this week. Um, and uh, we do have the Sonic and Tails galleries that we're offering to um, specialty stores as well. Recently, I've only finally recently got my hands on the Sonic and Tails. They were um, GameStop exclusives for a while, but I finally got a chance to play around with them, take some pictures, and they're really beautiful sculpts. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah. The Invader Zim looks like it's going to be very, very elaborate. Um, I talked to um, 
for our uh, panel presentation, I talked to um, uh, the designer, Joe Allard, and uh, it's just a really amazing uh, design. And, you know, it exists in all, you know, all, 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 all corners. There's something interesting going on. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff planned for the uh, General Giant Limited uh, corner of things, um, uh, which is, you know, primarily Star Wars. Uh, we've got a lot of really great uh, busts in the works, uh, including characters that haven't been done uh, and some characters that haven't been revisited in a long time. Um, we're showing off the uh, concept art for Bespin Luke, um, which is a really great looking piece. Um, and we're also going to be doing some comic based pieces. Uh, we showed Triple uh, Zero, the evil C3PO, at, um, at New York Toy Fair, but we're also going to be doing a Dr. Afra to go with it. Um, so we showed off that design as well. Uh, and we've got some uh, stuff from the new, new trilogy as well. Uh, we're working on a dark ray, um, uh, her in that evil, evil version from the final movie, uh, which uh -huh. was a really cool, really cool visual. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool bust. And um, yeah, more statues, uh, more uh, different scales. The premier collection is about one seventh scale. Uh, milestones are about uh, one sixth. Um, and uh, we're also working on more jumbos, which people like a lot. The the twelve inch versions of the classic action figures. Oh, excellent! Very cool. A lot of people have been asking about those. Um, yeah. Uh, releases have slowed down a little bit. Uh, we did one as a con as a Premier Guild exclusive for last year, uh, which is the um, uh, C three PO with the removable limbs, uh, and that's going to be shipping later on this year. Um, we had some delays with uh, COVID um, with our factories, so uh, some stuff had to move factories and. Um, it's a big kerfuffle. So uh, we're um, we're going to be getting those out uh, later on this year. Uh, and we just offered for the Premier Guild this year, um, General Lando Calrissian. Uh, but we do have plans for other other jumbos, uh, not you know outside of the Premier Guild. So um, keep an eye out for those. We'll be announcing some, um, hopefully in the near future. Awesome. I've always thought those were so fun. And I know that there's a lot of collectors that really uh, are like buying every one of those, like the jumbo, <laughs> jumbo size versions of the old Kenner figures. They're amazing. So I'm really glad to hear that you guys are going to continue those. Yeah, no, they're, um, they're really amazing. And uh, I've only held, I've very, I've only held a few in my hands personally and, you know, seen them in person, but um, uh, they're, they're really great. Uh, it's just um, to see that little figure blown up so big. Yeah. Um, but we yeah. definitely, um, we definitely uh, have plans for more in the future. A lot Excellent. of people have been asking about them. That's fantastic to hear. Very cool. And we have some more Marvel stuff for General Giant Limited too. Where we just showed off uh, a new uh, Miles Morales bust. Uh, oh, nice. About, about well, I think it's a um, one seventh scale, um, or is that one sixth? I think that one is one sixth scale, and uh, that's going to be offered uh, in the new previews. So you can pre-order that now. Um, a really great looking piece. Uh, and um, we'll continue to do the occasional Marvel piece through General Giant Limited, including the um, the Scotty Young style animated style statues, uh, which are um, we just offered uh, Doctor Doom, uh, who is I think the first time we've done him in the line. Uh, so um, I expect that one to do really well. And I think that's uh, that's a lot of what we uh, are working on. We're doing some stuff with the Justice League uh, cartoon. Uh, we just offered Batman. Uh, Batman just shipped, actually. Uh, Superman and Wonder Woman are coming up next. Just did a new gallery. Um, and we've got some uh, movie gallery PVCs uh, coming up. Uh, the Batman from Batman um, 1989. Um, and we've got the Wonder Woman TV uh, PVC coming up. Um, a lot of movie and TV stuff. Uh, less comic stuff, but uh, definitely more um, more from the movies. Um, we just shipped uh, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn. Really good looking piece. Awesome. Um, but yeah, that still still doing DC stuff. Very cool. It sounds like there's a lot of stuff though. That's amazing. And of course, we got some great things here, great images we can share in the video. So yeah, it's cool. a lot to a lot to keep track of. Uh, but uh, it's, it's even it's, harder because we don't have like a booth that we're standing in that we can like look at everything. Yeah, I can't. I can't walk <laughs> down the line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, we do have the virtual booth, which has a few, you know, a few of these new pictures in it. Um, we'll have the panel presentation, um, which I believe is staying up after the show. So you can check that out. It has some, has some new stuff in it Excellent. and, uh, and definitely check out our social media because we posted uh, some pictures there as well. Um, although I think I probably gave you most of them. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of new stuff we're showing off, uh, even though we're not there, um, we're still trying to make it an exciting experience for everybody. Uh, and the exclusives are really cool. Uh, check out the Vinnie mates that just came out. Um, they're really nice, uh, really nice collectibles. Um, and, 
affordable too. Ten dollars a pop, you can't beat it. Yeah. Um, and those are available through the Diamond Select Shop Diamond dot com. That website. Um, uh, we do have the other exclusives available through GentleGiantLimited dot com. Um, uh, some of the others, uh, like the uh, the uh, the Nightmare for Christmas uh, black light uh, box set, um, and a couple of other ones. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's um, hopefully going to be another good San Diego Comic Con uh, at home. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody has a good time. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope that stuff like this is kind of helping a little bit just to make it feel like we're still getting that that connection and that that inside info and all the fun reveals and everything that we're used to getting this time of year every year. So thank you again for taking the time to sit down with me and actually just go over all this stuff. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. Happy. Always happy to talk to you and uh, uh, good to see your face. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like like it's always so nice to like see somebody. <laughs> Again, like, I miss people so much. Uh if, and fingers crossed uh I'll see you in toy at Toy Fair in February, huh? If everything, I don't know, we'll have to see how things play out, but I really yeah, hope yeah. that can still happen. Yeah, I'm still waiting to hear about um about New York Comic Con, but uh yeah. I think um we'll have to see about that one. Um you know, we had some cool stuff planned for that show as well, but uh, we'll see what happens for October. Um, but, uh, hopefully February for sure. Hopefully February for sure. And, uh, if worse comes to worse, we'll still try to do stuff like this and, and keep yes. things fun and exciting for everybody. Anytime. Awesome. Awesome. Zach, thank you so very much for all of the awesome inside info and showing off all the pictures. I'm sure we all very much appreciate you being here and, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this comic con at home experience. I know it's weird and different, but hopefully you guys still had a lot of fun. Thanks for joining, and until next time. Comic-Con at Home with Pixel Dan is brought to you by Megalopolis City of Collectibles. Be sure to check them out for all of the latest pre-orders of everything that was just announced during at-home Comic-Con. Thanks for watching.